Hello everyone, welcome back. This video will give a recap about platelet counts and the platelet estimate. So first of all, what are platelets? Platelets are also known as thrombocytes and these are cells with no nucleus like an RBC. Platelets also have no regular size and no regular shape as seen in this video. Now, it's important to know the platelet count because platelets function in hemostasis, blood coagulation, and clot retraction. So knowing the platelet count in patients will help in the diagnosis for those who are suspected to have conditions that are related to these different functions. By definition, platelet count is the number of platelets in one liter or one microliter of whole blood. Platelet count is also sometimes abbreviated as PC or PLT-CT. There are different methods in performing a platelet count. We have the direct, indirect, and the automated method. The direct method uses the hemocytometer. That's why sometimes this method is also referred to as the hemocytometer method. When using this method, we can either use a phase contrast microscope or a bright field microscope. Under the phase contrast microscope, there are six different methods, and the Brecker and Cronkite is considered as the reference method for platelet count. When using the bright field microscope, we can either use the recent Ecker method or the Guy and Leakes method. The difference is seen in the dye which is incorporated in the diluting fluid. Recent Ecker uses brilliant crystal blue, while Guy and Leak has crystal violet in the diluting fluid. The indirect count, on the other hand, uses blood smear instead of a hemocytometer. When performing indirect count, we count the platelets simultaneously with the red blood cells in the smear. There are three different methods. Damescheck method uses brilliant crystal blue as well, while Fonius method uses 14% magnesium sulfate. Among the three methods, Olaf's method is considered as the best method, but may be tedious or cumbersome in performing. Another count that may be considered under the indirect method is the platelet estimate. But remember, a platelet estimate is not considered as a platelet count, as this is only an estimate to double check the platelet count performed either by the direct, indirect, or the automated methods. The automated method may either be a semi-automated method using the bullet al formula or by using fully automated machines like the Sysmex, Abbott, Beckman Coulter, and the Siemens Advia. Platelets may look different when using a phase contrast and a light microscope. Under the phase contrast microscope, platelets are round, oval, and purple or dark bodies. And sometimes dendritic processes may also be observed. Platelets are also considered non-refractile under the contrast microscope. However, under the light microscope, platelets are described to be colorless and refractile with either a discoid or an elliptical shape. Misidentification is more common in using the light microscope since other elements may look like platelets. In this picture, these are our platelets who are colorless and refractile, while this bigger element is an RBC. A collected debris may also look like platelets. When using the light microscope, it is important to identify the platelets properly to have a accurate platelet count. Again, platelets appear to be colorless and refractile. So in this picture, this is a platelet this is a platelet and another platelet. The one in the green arrow, which is this one, which also appears to be colorless and refractile but bigger, is considered to be a leukocyte. The one in yellow, which is also round but not as refractile as the platelet, is considered as a red blood cell. 
The Brecker and Cronkite method is considered as the reference method for platelet count. It uses whole blood in EDTA. The diluting fluid is 1% ammonium oxalate and this method requires a dilution of 1 is to 100. To perform the dilution, we add 1,980 microliter of the diluting fluid into a test tube and then add 20 microliter of the specimen. Remember to mix the specimen properly before adding it to the diluting fluid. Another way to have a dilution of 1 is to 100 is to use an RBC Thoma pipette. We add blood up to the 1 mark and then add diluting fluid up to the 101 mark. This should give a dilution of 1 is to 100. After dilution, we transfer the specimen to a hemocytometer. Now we use a phase contrast microscope, so that means a hemocytometer meant for a phase contrast microscope is used. The difference of this hemocytometer with the regular hemocytometer is that this is thinner with a flat bottom, which would fit the phase contrast microscope better. But in cases where there is no phase contrast microscope, a light microscope may also be used using this method. But counting platelets might be more difficult. Both of these hemocytometer has the same improved Neubauer ruling in its chamber. The platelets are counted in the central square of the hemocytometer. That means all the 25 intermediate squares in the central square will be used for counting platelets. We also use to count platelets on both sides of the chamber. And the difference between these two counts should be less than 10%. The platelet count taken from this should be verified with a platelet estimate. The reference range that we will be using for our quizzes and examinations would be the one from RODAC, and this is 150 to 450 expansion 3 per microliter or expansion 9 per liter. We can also use 150,000 to 450,000 per cubic millimeter or per microliter. All platelet counts should be verified using a platelet estimate, and this uses a blood smear for checking. Again, this is for counter-checking the platelet counts which were done either by using the direct, indirect, or the automated methods. The platelet estimate uses a light microscope and a blood smear. For the light microscope, we use the oil immersion objective with 100 times magnification. We need to count all the platelets seen in 10 oil immersion fields. The blood smear site for the counting should be chosen properly. The red blood cells should barely be touching each other and there should only be few overlapping. To come up with a platelet estimate, there needs to be a solution. For normal red blood cells, the average number of platelets is multiplied to 20,000. The average number of platelets is the total number of platelets in the 10 oil immersion field divided by 10, and this is what we use to multiply to 20,000. 20,000 is the platelet estimate factor and this is provided as a general guideline. In cases where the patient is anemic or there is erythrocytosis, that means that the relative proportion of the platelets to the red blood cells is altered, we would need to use a more involved formula. And this is the average number of platelets multiplied to the red blood cell count divided by 200. 200 is used because this is the average number of RBCs per oil immersion objective in the optimal assessment area. Just to give an example on how a platelet estimate is performed, so let's say, for example, this is one of your oil immersion field. Let's see the platelets. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16. So let's say that there's 16 platelets in this field, and then you proceed to the next field. You count again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and there is 11 platelets here. And then proceed to the second field. We count the platelets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 platelets here. And then to your fourth field, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Are there just 6? So let's say there's 6 platelets here. And then you continue counting on the other fields. So whatever total you have from that field, you divide it by 10. And we will have an average count. So let's say your average count is 14 platelets. We multiply this to 20,000 and we will get a platelet estimate of 280,000 platelets per microliter or cubic millimeter. We can also use 280 expansion 9 per liter. And the platelet estimate that we have computed should be compared with the platelet count. And if they are more likely the same, then the result can be released. One more thing that we do with the platelet estimate is to assess the overall morphology of the platelets according to its size, its shape, and its granularity. And that ends this recap video about platelet counts and platelet estimate. Thank you very much for watching.